We are doing a Did You Know on one of the most iconic, influential musicians in history, most referred to the genius of soul, Ray Charles. Georgia. Georgia. Did you know Ray Charles' very first entrance as a kid was machinery and mechanic? Did you know Ray Charles loved playing the piano as a kid and learned from an older man in the neighborhood at the age of three? Very same piano. An 86-year-old Lucille Day grew up with Charles. They were instrumental in having this recreation of his childhood home turned into a museum. It's located on a street that's been renamed Ray Charles Avenue, within a mile of a park where a statue was erected in his honor. Ray's mentor, Wiley Pittman, was my daddy's very best friend. Pittman is credited with teaching Charles how to play the piano when Charles showed an interest in playing at age three. This was when Ray Charles still had his vision. Did you know Ray Charles' mother kept him and his little brother heavenly in the church? If you had watched the movie Ray, I'm pretty sure you already know about the tragic loss of his little brother who drowned in a wash tub. It happened when Ray Charles was only five years old. The guilt of knowing that he could have saved his brother stayed with him for the rest of his life. Soon after, Ray Charles developed glaucoma and started to lose his eyesight. By the age of seven, he was completely blind. That's when his mother sent him off to a deaf and blind school, which he learned a lot. Of the deaf and blind in St. Augustine. It was here where he further developed his musical talents and even learned to read Braille. This is what the campus looks like now. To this day, Ray Charles is one of the most famous persons to have ever attended the school. Did you know, soon after his mother's death, at the age of 14, he quit school and started to travel with his band and play instruments. He was making $4 a night performing at bars in Jacksonville, Florida. That's where he was discovered. After a while, he finally got a breakthrough and signed with Atlanta Records and came out with the hit called Mess Around. This is where his career took an off ever since. Did you know in 1962, Ray Charles released a country album? The record was a success. It had occupied a powerful place in the country music history. Did you know Ray Charles had a total of 12 children? He was married twice and had eight baby mamas and several, several girlfriends. And did you know one of his baby mamas was one of his bandmates? Around this time, Ray Charles was fighting an addiction for 20 years. He had finally kicked the bad habit off by going to some sort of rehab. Did you know Jamie Foxx took the role of playing Charles to the extreme max? Taylor was like, what's wrong with you, man? We did this thing and Ray was there in the studio and you didn't show up. I mean, and I said, I, if I, I'm like a sponge, if I get the old Ray, then, uh, you know, I won't be able to make the transitions in a sense. So. And Jamie was right. I'm saying this as a director now working with an actor. He was thinking in terms of the young Ray. So what we did was we asked Quincy Jones to help us out. And he gets this cassette tape. Pop the cassette tape in, and we hear, Hi, this is Donna Shaw from the Donna Shaw Show. This is such a special day for all of us. Kenny Rogers, and of course, Ray Charles. And then you hear, Hello, you know, Donna, I, I am just so, uh, I, I, please, did you even really know my music? I mean, I, really, this is very, very interesting. You know, I, I, I tell you, you, you're such a busy lady, you know. I, I'm surprised you even had time to fool around with such trivial stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you read the book. I'm a fountain of trivia. <laughs> all right. And I took that and made a deal. DNA. You know, I took the DNA of that and we went through the whole script. <laughs> and uh, sometimes Taylor would pull me back and say, no, you gotta be higher, you gotta be lower here. So we could take that DNA and kind of go through it to uh, change that voice, you know, change the, the, the spirit of the character. So that was a method of getting to it. Well, you know what, the fact is, King B, man, I really and truly love gospel, man. I mean, one of my favorite groups is from right here in Houston, uh, the Cecil Shaw singing. What I loved as an actor was his total commitment. Jamie Foxx committed to do this role blind. A lot of actors would say, well, I got dark glasses on, you know, to hell with it. I can just, you know, 
close my eyes. When you're with Ray Charles, occasionally he takes his glasses off and you're like, wow, you know, first of all, there's a vulnerability that happens. And we use that in the movie. And so we had to create a look for his eyes that really does replicate Ray's real eyes. And he tries so many different and this is why the movie did so well. It was nominated in six categories at the 77th Academy Awards. It had won two for Best Actors for Jamie and Best Sound Mixing. Fox and Ray. And the Oscar goes to... Jamie Foxx and Ray. This is the first Academy Award and second nomination for Jamie Foxx. He's the tenth person to be nominated in both acting categories. Wow, wow. I got so many people to thank tonight, and first I'm gonna start it out with Taylor Hackford. Taylor, you took a chance, man. I mean, that love for Ray Charles was deep down in the earth somewhere, and you opened it up, and it's cracked open, and it's spilling, and everybody is drowning in this love. And I thank you for taking a chance on this film, and thank you for waiting 15 years to get me to do it. Uh... Unfortunately, Ray Charles had passed away that same year in 2004 from liver disease. Did you know Ray Charles won 17 Grammy Awards from his 37 nominations? He was rewarded the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award in 1991. He was inducted to the Rhythm and Blues Foundation in 1986. Charles was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and received a Kennedy Center honor. And he was rewarded for the National Medal of Arts in 1993. Here's to the legacy of the soul, jazz, rhythm, and blues, Ray Charles.